Alright guys, another technical update. What I'm going to be doing today is actually a couple of things. First of all, I'll be replacing this E Square Prom 24C04 with a 24C08. This will give me more space and I'm going to be actually uh, changing the location of the configuration. So instead of being uh, stored on the main microcontroller, it will be stored on the E Square Prom so I can swap the CPU cards update the firmware without having to worry about the configurations. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is actually I'm going to replace the ESP8266 with this guy right here, ESP32. This, this little dude is way faster, I really love it and only took me a few hours to actually make the same code for the ESP8266 or work on this guy right here. So here's the e square prom. I'm going to be actually updating the firmware. I have here my PIC uh, recorder, PIC programmer. And so let's get into it. I'm going to install this guy, swap uh, e square proms, and update the firmware so I have more uh, functions. I installed the e square prom several days ago. I didn't install the ESP32 at the time because I wanted to explore uh, other possibilities. And that's what I came up with. I mounted the ESP32 on this acrylic plate. It will in fact uh, be mounted right over there where there's a hole on the uh, metal box using those screws. The idea behind this is that the antenna will sit, will sit be, uh, right on the middle of this hole, providing uh, better communication with the access point, a better signal strength. Because like I said, this is in fact a metal box and wireless signal have a hard time getting in and out of this type of frame. Here I also have some cables to power up the actually power up this voltage regulator to step down the voltage to 5 volts and then power up the ESP32 and this cable will actually provide a serial communication there's a, like I said, there's a, a voltage uh, divider here for uh, logic compatibility from, three, uh, from, from 5 volts to 3.3 volts the voltage regulator will be mounted behind this HMI panel. So, I'm, and by the way, I'm going to be keeping the ESP8266 in place because the ESP32 will be right on over here. So there's really no need to get out of, uh, get this guy out, get rid of this guy. So it will sit there as a backup. There it is. This is how everything will look like. The only thing left to do is actually refresh the microcontroller here and put the HMI panel back. Not sure if you guys can see, but here it is the ESP32. Sticking out. I'll be doing some tests with the signal strength to see if it actually uh, improves in comparison with the ESP8266. Moment of truth. Time to flip the brake here and see if I have communication. ESP32 LEDs on.
Oops. Of course, I had zero. There's no water flow at the moment. Oh, there it is. Now, all I have to do is flash the back microcontroller with the ICD2 and do some signal, signal strength tests. But everything seems to be all right. I'm happy with the results so far. See you guys next time.